And welcome back, everyone, for week 10 of the 2019 NFL season. I had a terrible week last week. I don't even know if I got anything right. Let me see. The, the Buccaneers lost in overtime. The, the Lions got stopped at the one-yard line. The Dolphins won. The Patriots lost. <laughs> it was that kind of a week. But we're going to rebound, and we're going to start you off with Billy B. His college picks. Billy had a very good week last week. Let's go to Billy. All right, what's up, everybody? Billy, be back with you for week number 10. College last week went four and one. Look to build on that. First pick, I like Minnesota, plus six and a half. I like UAB, plus six and a half. I like Georgia Southern, minus three, and SMU, minus 22. There you have it for the college picks. Gio's going to give you the NFL picks right now. The first game we're going to look at has the Buffalo Bills going to Cleveland, where the Brownies are three-point favorites at home, while the Browns just haven't played well, at least uh, not as well as we thought they would play. The individual pieces are better than the you know, sum of the whole. The team is just not meshing. They've only played one good game, that win against Baltimore. And, you know, Baltimore's their, their mortal enemy because they used to be the Browns. Apart from that, they look pretty bad. Buffalo Bills, it's been a pretty easy schedule for Buffalo, but they are taking care of business, and they're, they're winning, and they're covering. Um, they still have a shot at the number one spot in the AFC East Division now that the uh, the Patriots have lost a game and are yeah they're on the bye this week, but they're going to be going into the meat of their schedule after playing a bunch of bombs. Buffalo can still win this division. Uh, I think they're going to win this game, and you get the points. So you know what? Let's take the Buffalo Bills plus three. The second game we're going to look at is the New York New York game: the Giants versus the Jets. The Jets are actually the home team in this game. Uh, two really bad teams. I mean, the Giants are coming off the Monday game, so they'll have less. Uh, less rest, even though they didn't have to travel. The Jets uh, are coming off that loss against the previously winless Miami Dolphins. I think they'll rebound. That's kind of an embarrassing uh, game for them. You know what? In a spot like this, you should just take the points. And that's what we'll do. We'll take the points. We'll take the New York Jets plus two and a half. The third game we're going to look at as my Minnesota Vikings going to Dallas, where the Cowboys are three-point favorites at home, the Cowboys, again, coming off the Monday night are against the, uh, the Giants. Actually, were in tough against New York for the first half until the, the wheels fell off for, for New York, as it usually does. My Minnesota Vikings, I don't think they played a very good game last week. They didn't run the ball as much as they normally do. I mean, you are who you are. Uh, Minnesota's a running team. Dallas is a running team. This should be pretty even. Uh, that, uh, in the running back spot, Ezekiel Ellis is probably the best in the league, but Dalvin Cook's not that far behind. I think our Minnesota's wide receivers are are better than the uh, than the Cowboys. Uh, the, the difference here is Minnesota's defense is, is a little bit better than Dallas. You're getting points here. I think we should take the points. Um, Vikings head coach Zimmer always rebounds really well after a loss, and uh, I, I wrote his record down after a loss. It's really good, and I, I forget it off the top of my head, but I think that's what's going to happen. I think Minnesota is going to rebound, and you're going to get the points. So let's, let's take Minnesota plus three. And the fourth game we're going to look at should be a doozy. It's the Monday Nighter. I don't think we've touched the Monday Night game yet. The Seattle Seahawks are going to San Francisco, where the Niners are nine-point favorites at home, uh, it, it, it took Seattle everything, including overtime, to beat the Arizona Cardinals with their the second worst defense in the NFL. Now they play against the second best defense in the NFL. And if had the um, the Patriots have not had such a cream puff schedule, San Francisco's defense would probably be number one. I think this is a chance for the uh, Niners to make a statement. They are better than we're giving them credit for. You know, I do my rankings video every week and I've, I've had the last two weeks I've had the Niners as my number one team Seattle's in the top 10 they're a good team too but their their defense doesn't match up against San Francisco's defense and uh, the Niners can hang in there offensively with them all day long I think it's a statement game for the Niners so let's lay the points and let's take San Francisco 49ers minus six all right and for the NFL I went two and two last week uh, first pick this week 
I like the Cleveland Browns minus two and a half against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Cleveland is a uh, laughing stock right now. Everybody was so high on them and they just can't get a win. But I think that uh, this week <clears throat> they'll pull it together for a week. Uh, Baker Mayfield will have probably the best game of the season against a tough Bills team. Uh, I think this will be a very low scoring game. I like the Browns to pull this out like maybe like a 17 to, to 10 game, something like that. But I think that the Browns do finally get a win that they've been waiting for for a while. So take the Browns minus two and a half. Next pick, I like the Falcons plus 13 versus the Saints. Um, <clears throat> this division uh, game here, they both don't like each other. Uh, I think 13 points is too much here. I know the Falcons have been really, really bad this year, but uh, it's kind of, you know, both of these teams, you know, they always play each other close than you, than you would think they would. Um, so I expect the Saints to win this by a touchdown to 10 points. So I think the 13 is a little bit too much. So take the Falcons plus 13. Next pick, I like the Seattle Seahawks plus six against the 49ers. Uh, I'm very confident in this game. I actually think Seattle wins this game outright. Uh, I love them to win this game. Um, but, you know, obviously take the six points here. I think that they'll be able to run the ball, and I think that they will just play one of the best games that they've played. Uh, they're a very up-and-down team, Seattle, but I think this is a game that they'll get up for. That they To catch up in a division, they need to win this game. So I think this is going to be a great game for Seattle. So take Seattle plus six. I'm taking them on the money line, but take them with the six. Last pick, I like the Packers minus five and a half, <clears throat> five and a half against the Panthers. Packers did not play well last week against the Chargers. I expect them to come back home. Um, it could be cold there. I believe it was snowing there today. Um, so it's going to be cold. Panthers, um, I don't know if they'll be able to, they want to come and play in that weather. Um, I think the Packers will make sure they stop the run in McCaffrey, and I think that they will get this victory by double digits. Uh, Aaron Rodgers will come back and play the uh, great game. So take the Packers minus five and a half. So there you have it. Let's win some money this week. Here's my let's take the man's money parlay play and the teaser play. We're, we're going to take New York Jets plus two and a half, Minnesota plus three, San Francisco minus six. We'll get a little greedy and take Buffalo on the money line. I think they're going to win that game. The LA Rams are in Pittsburgh and the Rams are coming off of the, the bye. Uh, Pittsburgh kind of got lucky last week. Uh, the, the, the scrub quarterback threw a, a, a pick six, which for, <laughs> for like 97 yards. Um, I, I think uh, the, the Rams are favored by three and a half. I think they'll win this game. Whether they cover or not, I don't know. But let's take them on the money line. And Baltimore, Cincinnati, uh, you got the number one running uh, attack, Baltimore by far, against the number 32 rush defense Cincinnati by far I think the uh, the Ravens will probably run up the the score big time on C Cincinnati probably fall asleep and, and let Cincinnati score some points at the end the the total in that game is 44 so let's take the over 44 a $25 bet will get us $1,176.65 now for the teaser play we'll tease Buffalo to plus nine uh, Arizona's at Tampa Bay Arizona's also coming off the, the Thursday night game uh, last last week, um, Tampa Bay sort of you know, left everything on the on the table in their overtime loss last uh, week. There, they're uh, they're favored by uh, four and a half. So let's tease that one up to plus ten and a half for Arizona. I've talked about my Vikings. Let's tease them to plus nine. The Baltimore Cincinnati game. Uh, Baltimore's favored by ten. Uh, you know they, they have with their win over New England. They have a chance to to catch New England if if the Patriots lose a game coming up for the number one seed. I'm sure they're going to win this game. Maybe not by the ten points because they might fall asleep. But the uh, we'll, we'll tease it down from minus ten to minus four. And the San Francisco game we talked about that's a six point favorite for the uh, Niners. We'll tease them down and make that a pick 'em game. And we talked about the total of the 44 in the uh, Baltimore. Cincinnati game, we'll tease that down to 38. Uh, $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck. And congratulations to Hans Bode. Hans, you're the winner of our contest for last week. You win this Seattle Seahawks NFL beanie. Well done, Hans. This is the last beanie I have for my giveaway, except for one. I have the Minnesota Vikings one left, and you're not getting it. So... Thank you, all of you, for uh, participating in the contest. That's fun. We'll have to do another one next year.
right, and there you go for the video this week. Uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments below. And as always, for Geo, I'm Billy B. Let's take the man's money.